inflation is getting out of, out of hand, man. I just went to the store and I see this one man use his cell phone to pay for his, for his snacks. That tells me right there that, man, a lot of people don't understand, man. This world is collapsing. It's about to collapse, man. The bank system is about to pull their money out, man. It's about to pull the gold out and everything. You know, the reason being, look at the war with Russia and the United States is giving billions and trillions of dollars to Ukraine still, right? And still putting sanctions on Russia. I'm telling you, man. The way this thing is going right now, Christ is coming very, very soon, man. And, um, you know, if you don't know Jesus, sir, get to know him. I'm telling you, time is running out, man. Because, because listen man, um, you know the banks around here, Fifth Third, US Bank, PNC, you know, every last one of these banks around here is about to collapse. It's going to be an economic downturn man. See, a lot of people is not paying attention, man. See, I pay attention every day. See, I look at the news. Not the ABC, ABC, CBS. I'm talking about alternative news. That's got the news, the truth, accurate truth. And so, when it comes to the end times, man, when it comes to what's going over there in Israel, it's still um, going on. See, it's like if you mess with God's people, if you mess with Israel, Judgment is falling. You already got hurricanes, you know, tornadoes, about 70 of them, man, and it's, and it's coming down more and more. Rain, more rain, earthquakes, thunderstorms, lightnings, boast the lightnings, man. But, you know, everything in that situation, man, that, listen, man, Jesus had mentioned in the Matthew 24, right? See, after the the eclipse, the lunar um, eclipse. You know, listen, a lot of people don't know it or not, though, man. Judgment is coming. It's coming very quickly, for real. The judgment of God is about to rain down, for real. Y'all don't know when the rapture is going to happen, man, but I'm looking up to the sky every day, every night. Because I can't wait to go home to be with the Lord. Well, my Lord is saving Jesus Christ, my King. Because I'm sick of this world system. You got so much corruption going on in this world, man. You got so much lawlessness. And you got so much homelessness is going up. Ten tie sky high, man. People over there just acting a fool. Because the Bible says that this is what it is, man. And I see it, and the Bible is true. Whole bunch of mocking and scoffing going on. Whole bunch of uh, pedophilia. Whole bunch of Sodom and Gomorrah. Transgenderism, LGBT, and all that, that stuff, man. Everything is just, just uh, gone. Here, I mean, you think it's bad now? Wait till the church is raptured out of here. Uh, millions of people disappear at one time including myself and everything is is going to go down here planes going to fall you go have accidents everywhere trains um derailing off the rails <laughs> and 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 uh draw bridges not working anymore and you got ships or docks you know and and barges it's going to crash it's going to be chaos then it's going to catch a bunch of people by surprise globally they ain't paying attention they're too busy partying you know partying and going on with their daily lives 
and it's gonna hit him like a ton of bricks. And see, that's why I'm on the ark right now. I repented of my sins, I gave my life to Jesus Christ, and I'm warning folks, understand? Because all it is right here, man, is people is, 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 is doing, rebelling against the Holy God. And, and, and see, you know, and um, God had enough, man. God had enough. You mess with God's people, you mess with Israel, and God's going to mess with America. Understand? You know, what the... uh. Bush did, Daddy Bush did. He done, you know, try to have a two-state solution then. In the 1990s, then, next thing you know, we got a hurricane that tore up his house. And they were over there in Maine, right? Here's the thing, man. You know, this is gonna be the worst 9 11 ever because it's gonna be the rapture of the church. It's gonna take away Billions and billions of people that love the new they love Jesus Christ, including myself, globally. At one time, at one time. See, it's a collapse going on right now. I don't know when, but all I gotta do is continue to watch, continue to warn people. Because I'm about to look at the news. I'm about to see what's going on with Israel. And see what's going on with the wars and everything. And see I am excited that Jesus is coming very soon to get his church. And people are just not paying attention. And it's gonna to be too late for a whole lot of them, understand? But they can but they can still get saved, but it's gonna cost you their life. The Antichrist is gonna come into power. He's gonna um, force people to take the mark of the beast. And if you to read Revelation 6, you got the, the white horse represents the Antichrist coming, the conquered and the conqueror, understand? The red horse represents war. The black horse represents food shortages and economic collapse. The pale horse represents death. I tell you, it's going to get so bad, you're going to, have, you're going to have food shortages. You're going to have people eating one another. I'm saying you're going to have animals attacking you. I'm telling you. You know, and, and, and people say that we're in, tri in tribulation now. Oh, no, we're not. If we was in a tribulation, I wouldn't be, be walking around downtown. I wouldn't be going in, going in, uh, in the stores, you know, pharmacy stores, or anything that matter. I wouldn't be doing none of that stuff, right? Then it wouldn't be no, no water turning to blood. Because that's happening, understand? Nuclear wars, Russia, China, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, you know, Ethiopia, you know, Turkey, you know, all these nations that hates Israel. It's going against Israel. See? Since the um, attack of, uh, from Hamas, October 7th, 2023, you know, Israel is, is, is not playing. And now what they're doing is uh, they, they try to get rid of Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, the president of Israel. And Joe Biden and his wicked administration, you know, don't like Israel. So it's like this, man. You got so much anti-Semitic anti folks out here, it's protected, man. And it's growing more officially intensity to it. Understand? And, and among so-called believers, they don't like Israel. I'm already done. Went after this one man. He's one of them, understand? And see, listen, the Bible makes it very clear. Genesis 12:3. I will bless I will bless those that bless you. I will curse them that curse you. And through you all the families will be blessed. It's talking about Israel. It was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I'm not talking about the wicked line here with doctrine that the Hebrew Israelite teaching. Because that's false. See, Jesus that came to his own and his own received him not. And then he done went to everybody else like false Gentiles and, and those that became saved and accept them as the Lord saved them, right? So that right there, man. Um, I tell you, man. Um, after seeing all that, though, man, declining of, uh, it's like they did join away with the, the, um, 
all that, um, you know, with the cash, man. It's doing away with it, the credit cards and all that, that stuff, man. You know, first, they paying with their phone and all that, that stuff. <sighs> now, they're going to be paying with this. It's going to be right on you. I feel sorry for those that take the mark of the beast. They're going to be damned to hell. Revelation chapter 14, Revelation 13 says that uh, everybody is going to take the mark. All men, small and great, rich and poor, jail, prison, or free, will take the mark on his right hand or forehead. And no one might buy or sell unless they had a, have his mark. I'm talking about the Antichrist. The Antichrist is a false Christ. He's going to make a peace treaty with Israel and, his, and their neighbors. Three and a half years is going to be chaos. War, war, three. It's already done starting, man. So, I'm here to tell you. Jesus is about to take his church home, take me home. He's about to, any moment now, I'm looking, I'm looking for that trumpet, man, so I can go home to be with the Lord. As well as brothers and sisters in Christ all over the globe. I'm telling you, it's gonna disappear at one time and everybody's gonna be shocked and scared. Understand? If you used to read Luke chapter 21, yep, yeah, Luke 21, um, 26, Man looking for fear for looking at these things that are coming to pass, that the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then does there'll be the sudden man coming in the clouds in power and great glory. When these things begin to happen, be look up and be watchful for your redemption is drawing now. See, I'm looking up every day. The more I hear about what's going on over there in Israel and the wars and stuff, I'm excited. That means anytime I'm getting he's getting getting closer to the rapture of the church for real you already don't have persecution of Christians right now you know because they stand for the truth they stand against the LGBT movement they, they stand against abortion they stand against all kind of wickedness that guy hates understand so I'm telling you right now man those of you out there you still playing with your lives man one like one last time one last time Go in the ark. Repent of your sins. Ask the Lord to forgive you for your sins. Because what's it said and done? Once the rapture takes place with us, the door is closed. And it's going to be too late for you. I mean, again, you can still be saved, but it's going to cost you your life. You know, it's best for you to get saved right now. Get on the ark. Just so you won't have to go through that horrible tribulation, man. That's why it's best to be smart to do that. So that's why I accept that Jesus Christ as my Savior, Lord and Savior right now. So that's what's going on, man. So, other than that, I'm out of here.